Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn how to use the present perfect in negative sentences in English. Let's begin with what you already know, the present perfect in negative sentences in Spanish. In Spanish, it is very easy. You simply follow this formula. El sujeto, más no, más haber, más el participio. Here are some examples. Yo no he jugado. Tú no has jugado. Nosotros no hemos jugado. In English, it is almost the exact same formula. There is just one little difference. In English, you put the negative word not after the word have or has, not before it, like in Spanish. The formula in English is like this. The subject plus have or has plus not plus the participle. Let's look at some examples. I have not played. You have not played. She has not played. We have not played. So as you can see, in English, you simply move the negative word not to follow have or has. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to identify sentences in the present perfect tense in negative sentences in English. Okay. So now you know the formula for forming sentences in the present perfect in English. Now let's look at a couple of very important issues with the present perfect in negative sentences. First, you must continue to learn the irregular form of verbs for the participle that you started to learn in Unit 1. I can't repeat how important it is to learn the irregular form of verbs in English. You will never be able to speak English well if you cannot master and learn our irregular verb forms. Next, we always contract have or has with not when we speak. You will never hear a native speaker saying, she has not eaten yet. That takes too long to say and sounds far too formal. We will always contract have, has, and not like this. She hasn't eaten yet. Here are the contractions. I haven't, you haven't, she hasn't, he hasn't, it hasn't, they haven't, we haven't. Don't forget from Unit 1 that the subjects I, you, we, and they go with have, and the subjects he, she, or it go with has. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to form the present perfect tense in negative sentences. Congratulations! Now you know how to form negative sentences in the present perfect tense. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck!